This is one of the first models from a new company on the scene, which is IMC Models. And it's certainly well presented, it comes in a high quality outer shipping carton. And there's a very nice high quality Notaboom box inside. Ah, there's nice suction as you take the lid off. Inside we see some high quality foam packaging. And with that off, the classic red line livery becomes visible. This model consists of a DAF XF Super Space Cab 4x2. And there's a new design of OSDS trailer which has wheel wells for carrying things like wheel loaders. In addition, there's some documentation and some parts. This is a Nautaboom Redline model, so it comes with its own little collector card, although it's not uniquely numbered. There's also a nice little brochure, and that describes some of the features of the trailer. It's simple and it's well presented. If you then do a double somersault reverse back flip, the brochure has some nice information about the real trailer. It's not too technical and it's got some interesting photos. So overall the presentation of the model is very good. For the assembly we'll just do enough to get this truck on the road. And all you need to do is to clip the kingpin of the trailer into the tractor. We will also do one more thing which is to clip the panels onto the gooseneck. These are metal and they clip in very nicely. The fit is very good and there's no looseness. With that done the truck is basically configured with the wheel wells left open. The DAF chassis is nicely detailed and there's Techno branding. And the box also suggests that the tractor is produced by Techno. It is very nicely modelled and the grille at the front is really good. And of course the red Notaboom colour is very striking. The wheels are very detailed and even the smallest graphics are very sharp. Behind the cab there are coiled lines and the extensive diamond plated surfacing is painted white. One other nice detail touch on the DAF is that it has rubber mud flaps. Moving on to the trailer and it has some nicely detailed warning boards but they are not movable. And similarly if we go to the back there are stabilizers but they're not movable either. But most of the detail underneath is very good. The edges have yellow stripes, highlighted tie down loops and tiny graphics. And the wheels are really nicely detailed with distinct wheel nuts. Another nice touch on the model is that the spare wheel at the front doesn't have the wheel nuts. The gooseneck deck has an offset metal strip running through it, and the plastic replica timbers have bolt positions indicated. Out onto the cranes etc test track with the DAF, and there's a bit of skidding on the rear axles because the tolerances are tight on the tyres. But one good thing is that even though the steering is detailed, it does have a good range of movement. So the DAF can be posed turning quite sharply. And that's always nice to see on a truck model like this. As you would expect, the DAF has a tilting cab and there's a detailed engine to be seen with the Packar name on it. Also included is an alternative fifth wheel which will be more suited to trailers with fat kingpins. Although getting access to the screw to fit it may be a challenge. Moving on to the trailer and it rolls reasonably well if not completely smoothly. And one thing it doesn't have is any form of suspension. The real trailer has a self steering rear axle. And that's also replicated on the model although the steering is a bit stiff and it doesn't have a big range of movement. But as we always say on cranes etc, something is better than nothing. There are screw down landing legs on the trailer. And they are good because they don't reveal any screw threads. With the legs down the trailer is perfectly grounded. To get machines up onto the trailer deck a pair of plastic ramps are provided. And these hook on at the rear. A nice feature on the model is that if you don't use you don't have to lose. And that's because there's a storage box at the rear and the ramps fit right in. The box also has closing doors at each end. If storage boxes turn you on there's another nice one at the front. And it's got a nicely opening lid. The trailer is configured for carrying wheel loaders and we'll see that later. But if you do want a normal flat deck you can have that. There are replica aluminium beams which clip in. Although if you're American they are aluminium. You can then clip in some panels which cover the wheel wells. Let's now move on and try some loads on the truck. And first up we'll just try it with a small 20 ton crawler excavator. 
that's all very well, but what if you don't dig diggers and you get a lift out of cranes? Well, just for you, here are some big crane sections. Time for the genuine imitation real life test. And here we're going to load a wheel loader onto the trailer. Up it goes and what a catastrophic fail that is. Okay, let's try again. That's looking much, much better. No, no good. So for the last time, get it right or you're getting fired. Yes, that's it. Gently does it. On you go and careful into the wheel wells. Yes, that's it. There's no one better than the Cranes Etc team. This is a very nice first offering from IMC Models. The DAF tractor looks very nice and it has good steering. And the detailing of the trailer is also a high point. The whole truck offers flexibility with some decent functionality. It's very attractive in the red line colour scheme and overall it's outstanding. <laughs>